I never wanted to be a business person. I never thought I could be a business person. So I studied journalism and wanted to work with CNN uh, or BBC and uh, be on TV. My parents had, you know, raised me up and they wanted me to be successful and, you know, they had educated me and they wanted me to do great things. But on in the inside too, I just felt like there was more to life than just being a famous journalist. Children come from vulnerable backgrounds and they've grown up without, you know, without parents or they've grown up with a parent, a single parent who has been very absent from their lives and so when they come to Enduro, we want them to feel that God has created them for a purpose and even though they lack, you know, the education and the, the qualifications that the world will say you need these qualifications to be able to succeed, when they come to Enduro, whether they are a barista or a server, we want to change that story and tell them that they are making an impact, they're making a difference through their work. When they brew that cup of coffee or make that plate of food, they're actually contributing to a much bigger story than they can see. They're actually impacting the lives of a farmer and his family in Bududa. <laughs> When we started working with the farmers in Bukalasi, we wanted to be different. We did not want to come in and be the company that was going to promise great things and do nothing. God bless you too. Okay. The first time we came to this community, this was a community which was very timid. They didn't trust people who came to them because many other people wanted to pattern with them, but instead, they just came in to get what is good out of them and then left them empty. So the time we were, they were here first time, they didn't trust us. The youth were all living in urban areas looking for better standards of living. The farmers, every now and then, they will tell you, we lost somebody, they were sick because they weren't eating good food. The economy was very low. They were, generally, I would say they were very miserable. When it came to how much we would buy coffee, we decided that the farmer was going to get a good price for their coffee. And if it meant that we had to reduce our profit margin in order for the farmer to have money to take their children to school, be able to do something for their family, then we would make that happen. We have to operate a good business in order to accomplish the work that God has called us to. We were buying fair trade coffee, but when we started to get to know farmers personally, we realized that most of them weren't ever seeing anything near the fair trade price. We realized we couldn't keep doing that, realizing that we were actually perpetuating the vulnerability that we were trying to, be, trying to end. We want to get specialty quality prices, that four or five dollar cappuccino that you drink. We want that market because that allows us to pay our farmers about five or ten times more than any of the other buyers in the country right now. Enduro is a family on an international level, but also a community level. We've got our farming groups um, that impact families, and then we've got our coffee shops, and the staff are a family within the coffee shops, but also from Uganda to America. We have a sense of family as well. The way that we share recipes, we encourage one, one another, we train each other. We get to be a part of directly ending child vulnerability through the actual business operation. So kids here are going to school and going on to university now and uh, 
they're getting plenty of food. The malnutrition is going way down. Out migration of children is, is going way down. How you know the company is right now, I mean it's really best on partnership people that come from very different backgrounds. I mean, the fact that we can actually work together and then we work with, uh, I mean, whether it's the staff, whether it's the farmers, they come from very different backgrounds and so, but they are partners in, in all of this. So Enduro is not Gloria, Enduro is not Cody, it's all of us together. To me, I believe Seeing the lives of the farmers I'm working with changed can influence other people to be like them. So me, who is a representative of the work of the Lord, if I can pass it on to the farmers, and then the farmers can reach the whole community and the whole world is changed through coffee. When Enduro was started, I wasn't qualified. I did not have the experience to, to do any of this. And uh, God said, will you trust me? Do you believe me? Do you believe that I can do exceedingly abundantly above all what you can even think to ask me or imagine? And so I said, OK, God, you're good. So you can do all things. And so he's done that. And he's saying, you know, you've not even seen, you know, the end of this story. You know, you're only just seeing a part of it. When God says, this is where I'm leading you, this is what I want you to do, even when it doesn't make sense. For me, it's believing that God is able to do what he says he's going to do and what he wants to accomplish through my life.